Hello, everyone. In this lesson, we will discuss methods for offline and real-time simulation of accessories. The focus will be on how to use the avatar topstitch method to import accessories into the simulator for simulation. The course includes the chain binding method in Atelier, as well as the differences in using avatar topstitches for three different types of accessories. Let's take a look together. First, before importing the avatar into Atelier, you can organize the materials and name the materials. This makes it easier to find and modify them in Atelier later. In Atelier, drag the accessory material directly into the workspace. FBX and OBJ formats both work here. Change the loading type to Add and the object type to Trim. No need to change the animation. You can change the scale here. Or you can modify it more intuitively after importing. Keep the other settings as default and click Confirm to add. After importing, you can go to the right property editor to resize. Before modifying, make sure to check lock aspect ratio. This is the first method for numerically changing the size. You can also click the scaling button in the 3D view to adjust the size visually. Drag the corresponding axis to scale in the desired direction. The first button can be used to move the trim. The third button is for snapping. You can snap the object to any position on the avatar. But here, it's recommended to manually move the earring position. This ensures that the earring is vertically oriented. When moving, make sure the coordinates are in world space. If its screen coordinates, it may shift with the screen angle, which is inconvenient. Quickly adjust the earring's position. Now, there are two methods to handle our earring. Let's first look at the method applied to Atelier Simulation and convert it to other under Accessory. Follow the diagram. Choose the appropriate binding method. For long earrings, choose Chain Binding. Generating a bounding box allows the earring to participate in collisions. Make sure to check automatic symmetry. Now, our earring accessory has been added. Open the animation editor. Let me demonstrate the effect of chain binding. You can see the earring remains vertical to the ground in the animation, matching the normal effect of gravity. This method is only applicable for simulation in Atelier. It cannot be used in the simulator. Next, let's explain the second method. First, ensure that the earring is horizontal to the screen. Then copy a new earring. Right-click and convert it to avatar. Now, the 2D view has a silhouette of the earring. You can now create a pattern for the earring based on the silhouette size. Add a new fabric and apply it to the earring pattern. Select Tack to Avatar. Tack the pattern to the avatar's earlobe. Simulate. Convert the earring to a top stitch by right-clicking. Check Auto Adjust Position. This allows for a quick adjustment of the top stitch position. Click OK. Select Segment Top Stitch and add top stitch on the pattern. Here, set the transparency of the auxiliary pattern to zero for better visibility. Click Edit Top Stitch Style on the right to adjust the top stitch position. Here, we can see that the top stitch is inverted. You can rearrange the top stitch by changing its placement. Go back to editing the top stitch style. Adjust the top stitch style. The width refers to the length of the earring vertically. A larger value makes the earring longer. Offset, it represents the distance from the earring to the edge of the added top stitch, indicating the vertical position. The space adjusts the gap between earrings. Increase it enough to leave only one earring. Lastly, you can use the edit top stitch to move the top stitch left or right. Now, you can see two earrings. Select the top stitch. In the edit top stitch style, find back. Uncheck same as front. Change the face to none. 
Now, you can clearly see a gap between the earring and the pattern. Click the Edit button next to the model. Continue by clicking the OBJ folder. The side distance is along the Z-axis, as indicated by the lower left axis. Adjust the value of the Z-axis, using the mouse wheel, for a quick adjustment. Once one side is done, select Symmetry Pattern, to quickly generate the other side. Tack the pattern onto the avatar. Since the imported accessory may have texture issues, we might encounter texture distortion. Let's briefly discuss how to add and modify materials. Click on the top stitch, to access the properties window. Add color to the earring. In the material list, there are pre-divided materials. You can sequentially choose and modify them. This concludes the method for applying earrings as accessories for the simulator. Now, let's take a look at the necklace. The simulation method for the necklace will be done through the process of binding. Next, we'll focus on explaining how to match an external necklace to the avatar and make it collide with existing clothing. Here, the drawing of the necklace's auxiliary pattern differs from that of the earring. Ensure that the upper edge of the pattern is horizontal and not cut. First, draw one side, then, symmetry pattern with edge. Cancel axis for easy top stitch addition. Convert the model to a top stitch, following the same steps as the earring. Quickly go through the process. Pay attention here, the top stitch model is inverted. Return to the initial editing window, invert the Y axis. Afterward, the operations are similar to those for the earring. Adjust size and position. Once adjusted, use a pen to manually create a hole for the necklace to fit around the neck. Move the necklace to the neck. Decrease particle distance. Set the layer to minus one. These operations are to quickly simulate the necklace without any penetration issues. Disable the top stitch at the back. Change the extra collision thickness to zero. After adding color, adjust the necklace's smoothness to resemble the actual material. Increase the extra collision thickness appropriately. This prevents the necklace from intersecting. Continue adding materials. If the side isn't snug, there's a risk of real-time simulation interference with the lapels. Since the necklace pattern will be freeze, therefore, you can increase negative pressure. Make the pattern snug against the neck. Finally, let's take a look at the simulation method for the jade pendant added through sewing. The previous steps of converting to a top stitch are the same. Let's quickly go through it. At this point, since the jade pendant hangs from the belt, therefore, you need to draw an internal line upwards from the edge of the belt. Then, sew along this internal line. After sewing, you need to remove the normal map of the sewing line to eliminate any sewing marks. Adjust the color of the jade pendant. Here, the texture of the jade pendant is reduced. Next to the texture map, find the edit button. Manually enlarge the texture map. Once adjusted, you can click apply. Now, Three different types of accessories have been added. Go to the UV editor to arrange UVs for the added transparent patterns. Select all patterns and click arrangement. Also, in the settings, check arrange 3D trim. All accessories also need UV arrangement. After arranging the UVs, export. Next, check the status of the clothing. Only the necklace is freeze. Go for the binding route. Finally, export the SMD. Drag the clothing SMD into UE.
you can see that the accessories are missing. We can come to Accessory Visibility, tick the top stitch. Then, in Bind Property. Here you can adjust the attributes of the skin binding. Since the necklace has been pre-frozen in the atelier. So we can directly bind and save. Let's play to see. The simulation status of accessories is all normal. Therefore, let's add actions and proceed with post fitting. Before recording the animation, you can adjust the parameters in the solver property as needed. Now, let's play and see. Firstly, the Jade Pendant simulation is very dynamic. The earrings and necklace are also successful. Of course, if the simulation results are not satisfactory, you can always go back. Double-click on the clothing to access the Physical Properties panel and make adjustments here. That concludes the introduction on how accessories can be imported into the simulator. Finally, let's review the key points of this lesson. Welcome everyone to like, share, and participate in the comments section. See you in the next video.